All right, this is my 5600X budget beast build. I've got 16 gigs of BDI RAM, a 6650XT, an inland Gen 3 M2 for storage, and I'm piggybacking my PSU off of my Cryoraptor build right now. Also, I'm using an open bench table mini, which is not very cost effective, but I looked up the most cost effective parts to replicate this configuration. And using all new parts, the total came to about $722. When I looked up used parts for this build, it came to about $605, which is very good for the performance you're about to see. So I've already shown this configuration on streets, maxed out on the GPU side. I had a 7900 XT in there to see what this processor could do. And streets is still kind of its own thing. It's very CPU intensive. It's a heavy map with tons of AI. I think it's a good way to benchmark and test because it is the most intensive map in the game. And I love playing streets. I think it's the most fun map, the newest content, the most action. However, I still enjoy playing the other maps. Like I used to be a shoreline main. The resort is in shambles, but back in the day, this used to be the spot. No fucking way, dude. Again? Anyways, getting back on topic, I took this budget beast out to Shoreline, and in the resort, hundreds to about 120 out in the fields, I can get up to maybe 130s, 140s. So really good performance, and I'm pretty much a B plus or A minus for performance here. So I fought Sanitar here. I didn't take him down in the first engagement. He got drugged up and proceeded to send me back to my stash on his run. His guard actually got me as I was chasing him around. Anyways, here's some outside footage on Shoreline. As you can see, the frame rate is much higher than in the resort where there's a lot more assets and possibly more AI and players. Next, I took it out to Woods, another map that I like to run. One that runs pretty well usually. A lot of open spaces and points of interest where the FPS will drop, but mostly in the fields you're gonna get pretty good frame rates like you're seeing here. Around the sawmill, I saw the FPS drop maybe, I don't know, anywhere from 10 to 20%, but it's still around 110, 120. So very good performance, ultra smooth, really responsive. The 1% lows are great. On streets, it didn't feel so awesome, but on any map not called streets, this config excels. Reserve is one of the maps where there are a lot of concentrated assets. So if you're outside in the fields, you might get anywhere from 15 to 30% more frames than when you go down into the basement area. Usually down here, you're gonna get a dip compared to being above ground. So even on reserve, I'm getting 70s to 80s. Looking at this, the streets performance actually is not that bad considering how much more content is on that map. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. We are at a time when budget beasts are a thing again. So you don't have to pay exorbitant amounts of money just to play. You can get a lot of bang for your buck with the right parts these days. If you're interested in recreating this build, I've left a link for the spreadsheet I showed earlier with the list of parts and links. These are Purology YT affiliate links and the channel will receive a commission if you use them. And if you do, thank you so much for supporting the channel and I'm going to continue to grind until I become known as the best Tarkov benchmarking channel on YouTube, all right? That's my goal and I'm not stopping until that becomes established. So again, thank you for joining me in this one. You guys are all legends and I will see you in the next one.